Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. This video I partnered with Nylite. We are going to put some LED strips in the bed of my GMC Sierra AT4. Let's go. So let's have a closer look at what comes in the box. So I ordered the three piece. So mine's gonna have three strands. There's 90 LEDs per strip for a total of 270 lights. So let's have a look at those first. We got two strands in here. We have another strand in this bag. So there's our three. They give us an on and off switch with a fuse and it has two leads to hook up two strands. And then on the other end of the strand, you can actually daisy chain them together. We have an extension cable here so we can reach our power source if we need to. And we have a little bag of hardware to keep all our cable management and mounting in order. Can't forget the instruction manual. Now these are supposed to be pretty flexible and well sealed. They have an IP67 waterproof rating. So for some snow, light rain, they should be good and not uh, harmed. But because we're putting them inside the bed rails and I have a box cover, I'm really not that worried. And then we have the adhesive backing all the way along. So we just got to determine how we're going to stick it. We've also got little plastic brackets with screws that we can also drill into the box if we want to, to secure it extra firm in some areas. But let's plan out the install and see what we got. One of the drawbacks of working inside is I don't have a lot of room for a long truck. Make sure not gonna scratch anything. I always recommend planning out your install. I planned out mine. Now normally you would just connect the positive and negative of the power wire that they give you to your battery or to a fuse panel and then you'd have the switch to control it on and off. I want to do mine a little more complicated because that's just my style, but I want it to work with the cargo lights that I already have, which are back here. So I'm going to tap in with two wires, the positive and the negative, onto the existing lights. But because these lights aren't designed to power all these extra strips, I'm just gonna use that circuit as a trigger to go to a relay and then that relay will be triggered once I turn on these lights and then it'll allow power direct from the battery, which I've already run here, to turn on and power all of these lights and still be protected by the fuse that's in line, which is five amps. And then I'm going to tuck it up here and keep it nice and out of the way and then I can bundle all the wires up and then we can start putting up our bed lighting and see if it works. Now for me to gain access to the back of the built-in LED, I need to take out the tail light. It's just using a T15 Torx screwdriver and there's just a couple screws. And there's just a couple screws on this side here. Very easy to take on and off. And then we give it a little pull. Unclip the wire at the bottom, and then we have to unclip the wire on the back of the LED. We just want to pull this tab back, and then we should be able to squeeze and pull off. Now let's figure out which one is our live circuit. So I got the ground on, the lights are on, pretty sure it's the blue wire. Got to find your good ground. There we go. So now that we know this is a viable power source, we're going to fish this through the side of the box as best we can and hopefully pull it out of that hole up at the front. Actually, we lucked out. I was starting to figure out how I was going to do this without taking out the wheel well liner. There's actually a little spot right here that I'll be able to fish this through and channel it underneath the bed rail for my box cover. Now I'm just gonna take the wire loom off of this wire so I have a little more to work with. And we're going to splice and solder these wires in so we can get power to where we need it. I went ahead and I've taken the sheathing off of the wires for the power and the ground. 
and I also change the length to the power and the ground wires here. So once I connect them, solder them in place, when I wrap this up and then put it back in the wire loom, there's no way they can short out on each other. Okay, we got all our soldering done. Our relay is tucked up here and out of the way. It can't get wet there because the rail is completely covering it. So now that brings us to our harness. Our switch is in the on position. I'm gonna hit the unlock button, which will allow all my cargo lights to turn on, including these. Most people don't have it on the unlock button, but I do because I did a different mod in a different video. So when I hit unlock, these should all come on and these cargo lights as well, and the one up there. So let's hit unlock. Ta-da, it work. You can see all my extra lighting that's on as well. Now let's try the cargo light switch and see if they come on, not just using the button. All right, the install's done. I'm happy with it overall. I did have to use some of the plastic clips and drill into the bottom of my bed rail a little bit. You might not have to do that. Every vehicle is gonna be a little bit different. So the sides are pretty much perfect, but the front was about this much too long. So in that front corner, the adhesive had to come up a little bit and go over a little piece of the framing for the uh, box cover. Not a big deal. It just means it comes down a little bit so the light's not perfectly straight. You probably can't tell, but uh, let's have a peek inside the box. So come on over. I'll open this up and turn them on. Look at all that light. I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed. The only downside is you can see how dirty the inside of my box is. So let's take it outside into the dark. It's super cold outside, so I'm just gonna get a winter coat, pull it out, and let you see some night shots. Thanks again to Nylight for sending over this three-piece kit. Even a two-piece kit would be fine. I'll leave a link in the video description below where you can pick up some of these lights. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.